All right, we're beginning the uh, awards presentations and Carol Lane will be making those awards. Carol, can you go ahead, please? Thank you. I'd first like to also add my thanks to um, Administrator Bridenstine for his leadership and through that leadership, um, what he talked about in terms of bringing the various space uh, communities together to move us forward. Um, I think he has led us in a path of a very exciting space future and we really appreciate his leadership on that. So thank you again, Administrator Bridenstine. Okay, um, I'm pleased to now present our Ordway Awards for Sustained Excellence in Spaceflight History. And once again, um, thank you, AH, for your support in presenting and uh, for the award presentations. Um, the Ordway Award was named in memory of Frederick Ordway III, human spaceflight advocate and chronicler of the history of rocketry and space travel. The award recognizes exceptional sustained efforts to inform and educate on spaceflight and its history. Before we introduce our winners, we're lucky to have with us today Frank Ordway's, Fred Ordway's son, Fred Ordway IV, who would like to say a few words. Over to you, Fred. Hi, uh, good afternoon, guys, everybody. Um, can you hear me all? I suppose you can, I hope you do, but it's really my honor to be here uh, in the memory of my father, Frederick I. Ordway III, who dedicated his life's work to the advancement of human spaceflight as a historian, a writer, and a lecturer. I want to con congratulate each of you, Bill, um, photography. I haven't seen any of it, but I hear it's uh, stellar. Uh, Roger, scholar and author, and um, to the University of Nebraska uh, Press, uh, Outward Odyssey series. A popular, popular histories place equal emphasis on Soviets and the Americans and give priority to the people over technology and nationalism. I remember my father coming back from the, in the 70s in the, in the height of the space race, coming back from Moscow after some conference and having these huge Russian guys coming up to him and saying, Fred, we love America. It's just our politicians who don't. So I, that, that, that made a special thing for me. For the Viking Mars Mission Education and uh, Preservation Project, I hear that Perseverance is uh, gonna be a great success. And it's, I think it's weird, but today is about half, they're about, they're about literally halfway to, uh, to Mars. So almost 150 million miles um, from Earth. Um, the recipients of the Ordway Award for Sustained Excellence in Spaceflight History for your own extremely important contributions and efforts, not only to chronicle spaceflight history, but to educate future generations on its importance in shaping and influencing the future of spaceflight. So it's my honor to be here, and I'm sorry I'm not there to shake hands and see people, uh, but uh, thank you very much. Thanks, Fred. I, I will mention that I did have the opportunity um, to meet your father early in my career when I was on the on the Hill. And oh, so right. it's a very special honor to uh, make these awards on his behalf. And you actually look remarkably like him. So <laughs> yeah, <I think> <laughs> that. Yeah. it's very interesting. But thanks for joining us yep. today. We really appreciate it. Okay, all the best to everybody. Thank you. Um, now on to the presentations. And uh, as you got a little bit of a heads up, we do have four awards. So please be patient as we recognize these notable people and organizations. The first Ordway Award this year is presented to Bill Engels. He has been a photographer based in NASA headquarters in Washington, DC since 1989. And I think has also become a little bit of an, a Washington icon, if I might say. Um, he has photographed some of our country's most historic moments in space. The first launch in 1995 of a US astronaut on a Russian rocket, the tragedy of the space shuttle Columbia accident, the landing of the Space Shuttle Atlantis, the final landing of the Space Shuttle Atlantis in July 2011, and many, many more. In fact, um, we've seen Bill at so many NASA and space events, I'm sure he could chronicle many of our lives um, as, we've, as we've aged over the years. But perhaps most significant, one of Bill's colleagues recently commented, Bill is so much more than a photographer, he's a storyteller. And so we present the Ordway Award 
Deville Angles for Sustained Excellence in Memorializing Milestones in the U.S. Space Program through his artistically crafted photographic images. Congratulations, Phil. Well, well deserved. Well, thank you so much, Carol. This is where I wait for the uh, crowd to stop cheering and to sit back down. <laughs> All right, there's the award. Thank you very much. Very honored. And uh, what a great um, uh, thing to meet Fred as well and have the introduction from Fred as well as you, Carol and Jim. Thank you so much. Um, I, I accept the award on behalf of not just myself as a photographer, but my entire photo team at headquarters who have been documenting in capturing uh, space flight history since the beginning. Uh, Connie Moore, Gwen Pittman, Aubrey Gimignani, and Joel Kowski, as well as other photographers and historians in the Crossy Agency. Uh, done amazing work. Um, I just happened to get my name attached to a lot of my work, and, and but I accept this on behalf of all of them for all the work they've done as well. I do have the best job at NASA. I don't like to tell too many people because they'll want to take it from me. But um, I've been inside active volcanoes. I've hung, hung out of helicopters at 10,000 feet over Kazakhstan, met the queen, and uh, this marks 20 years ago this week that I was in Baikonur for the first launch of our crew to uh, Expedition One on board the space station. I've been truly lucky, um, and uh, I think the key is don't let anyone know your real name, and that way they can't fire you. Um, <laughs> I've worked for numerous administrators, um, and um, they've all played a pivotal role for NASA, and um, I will give a little tip of the hat, though, to this guy, Mr. Bridenstine, who said the camera is the mission. It was pretty hard not for my entire office to stand up and cheer when we're being told the camera is the mission, and of course, we understand that and appreciate it. And um, to wrap up, um, thank you again. It's a huge honor. Um, the work that we do, we don't take lightly. It's a huge responsibility to capture uh, imagery of what's happening for the nation, for generations to come, and for those that can't be there. So it's it's uh, it's a real honor and real exciting, and I look forward to uh, what we have coming uh, with missions to the moon and Mars. Thank you again, really appreciate it. Thanks, Bill. So as we move from images to the written word, our next Ordway Award is presented to Dr. Roger Lanius. Roger Lanius has had a formative influence on preserving the history of aerospace technology, science, practice, and policy. First as chief historian at NASA, and then as curator, um, space history department chair, associate director, uh, and associate director for research and collections at the Smithsonian Air and Space Museum. He is, well, he is a well-known author of, and articles for both the scholarly and popular presses and is frequently quoted as an expert in the print and electronic media. Roger can fairly, uh, can fairly be called the staunchest and most influential advocate for space history as a field of research, publication, and public in impact. His career has vastly enriched our understanding of humanity's movement into space. So to Roger Lanius, we present the Ordway Award for Sustained Excellence as a prolific scholar, author, and advocate for space history. Congratulations, Roger. Thank you so much. It's such a deep honor to uh, receive this award. Uh, I arrived at NASA in 1990 and Almost immediately, I affiliated with the American Astronautical Society and have been associated with it ever since. Uh, I also met Fred Ordway very quickly thereafter, and he became a, a staunch supporter, a, a mentor, a friend, and, uh, and it's such an honor to, uh, to receive an award in his name. And I should say that it's been rewarding for you know, 30 years now to be engaged in space history, but there are many people who are a part of the Army that is engaged in documenting and telling the story of, of the history of space exploration. And at some level, this is an award for all of them. I, I feel like I was able to, uh, to call upon them to uh, get their assistance as we moved forward. And, uh, and so I'm so very thankful for, uh, for this recognition, and I appreciate it very much. I also brought my award, 
and you can see it virtually. <laughs> and, uh, and so thank you very much. It is a, a pleasure to be with you in a virtual setting. And, uh, and I thank you for this great honor. Thanks, congratulations. Um, our third Ordway Award today goes to the University of Nebraska Press, University of Nebraska Press for its Outward Odyssey series. The University of Nebraska Press began publishing the Outward Odyssey series. I've had to practice that, it's a uh, <laughs> bit of a tongue twister. Um, and they began uh, publishing in 2007 under the leadership of editor Colin Burgess. The series focuses on the early rocket experimenters, the astronauts and cosmonauts, and the engineers and scientists who changed forever their world and ours. As of 2020, there have been 19 titles in the Outward Odyssey series. A number of them were finalists for the AAS Emmy Award for Spaceflight Literature, and one title, Ambassadors from Earth, Pioneering Explorations with Unmanned Spacecraft by Jay Gallantine, received the, AA, the AAS Emmy Award in 2009. So to the University of Nebraska Press, we present the Ordway Award for your uh, Outward Odyssey series, A Personal History of Spaceflight, documenting key topics in the history of spaceflight. Representing the University of Nebraska Press today is Rob Taylor, Senior Acquisitions Editor. I, you might want to unmute, unmute yourself, Rob. Okay, th thank you uh, for that introduction, Carol, and, and uh, thanks to the AAS for uh, the opportunity to join you today. Um, I would, uh, on behalf of the press, um, I would uh, like to thank the AAS both for the nomination and the award. Um, awards to book publishers are always special, but they really mean the most when they're made by uh, scholarly or professional organizations like the AAS um, to have that kind of peer recognition in this area of publishing is so important. Um, and it's really kind of a validation for all the work that's gone into the series. So thank you for that. And um, thanks especially to the authors um, who have contributed to the series. Uh, this is their award. It's their award as much as the presses. And uh, I know how happy everybody in the series is to hear about the award. And uh, finally, I just would like to thank series editor, Colin Burgess, um, who conceived the series with then press director, Gary Dunham in 2006 or seven, and who is still the driving force in terms of seeking new work for the series. And it's his biggest, he's its biggest advocate. And I know how much uh, the award means to him too. Um, so thank you again uh, on behalf of the press and all the editors for this award. Thanks very much. Great, thank you. Um, and our fourth and final Ordway Award goes to the Viking Mars Missions Education and, and Preservation Project. The Viking Mars Mission Education and Preservation Project was founded in 2008, dedicated to global education with a special focus on STEM, collaborative learning, and international cooperation under the guidance of Project Director Rachel Tillman. The project is focused on preserving the history, artifacts, original documents, and data from the Viking missions to Mars, inspiring current and future leaders and thinkers, and instilling collaboration and equity into missions of tomorrow. In addition, the project has conducted hundreds of oral history interviews, audio and video, with individuals who were involved in the Viking mission, which if you might remember started in 1975. Um, and this is reflected in their motto, inspire, educate, and collaborate. So to the Viking Mars Mission Education and Preservation Project, we present this Ordway Award for preservation of archives and artifacts associated with the Viking missions to Mars and educational outreach using the Viking missions as a STEM catalyst. Representing the project is with us today is Rachel Tillman, the project director. Hi, Rachel. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. And I'd like to acknowledge that there are in the audience a number of individuals from the Viking mission and volunteers who have also supported us. 
History isn't just events in the past that change the trajectory of humankind. It's the record of interactions between individuals as they explore, learn, innovate, succeed, and fail together. Every industry professional working right now is making history. It's dynamic as any change that happens with an individual actually changes history. And so the Viking mission was more than the first mission to survive and report back from the Mars surface to planet the map, to map the planet in its entirety and to discover seasons on Mars. And its preservation is the fabric created by those thousands of individuals over time and inspired by those before them. This consists of contributors from around the globe whose science defined the atmospheres so we could travel through them, who innovated methods and materials to survive it, and more who led teams to solve the myriad of problems required to get there. Every person and their associated institutes are part of that history. And in our journey to preserve it, we are in essence recreating from ideation through landing and analyzing data all the touch points. It's the genealogy of influence. We preserve the archives, notes, documents, and artifacts, but the most important thing is preserving the oral histories of those individuals who made the mission possible. And we have them to thank us. I can't list them all and there are many, many too many, but we have lost some along the way. One who was meant to be on this call today, Dr. Patricia Ann Stratt would have been here listening and being honored by this award. However, she passed away just a few short days ago. We will, she will not be forgotten as she was a friend as well as the first woman co-investigator of a Mars search for life investigation. We will continue to honor her and all the Vikings who contributed to the mission to share their stories, lessons, and work materials, and to inspire and educate future generations of leaders and thinkers. It is an incredible honor to be among these auspicious recipients of this award. And thank you, Fred, for being here as well. It is very special to know the families who have contributed to the making of history. And so with gratitude and humility, I accept this reward on behalf of the Vikings who made this mission possible and all of our volunteers who have contributed from around the globe. Thank you so very much. It's a great honor. Thanks, Rachel. For those of you that had listened to the workforce um, panel earlier, uh, a couple hours ago, um, we talked about mentors. And one of my mentors uh, was from the Viking Project. And, um, you know, one of the things that they always said about it, it just was this unusual group of people that um, for years was used as a model of how you wanted to manage a program. And so it's wonderful that you're able to be a, recreate that feeling to even today, so many years later. So thank you for your work. And with that, I think I am turning it back over into Alan DeLuna.